Now, a severe drought in Somalia has displaced nearly 500,000 people in the Puntland region. Herders who have lost their livestock are now seeking refuge in urban areas. Uh, those towns are struggling to deal with the influx of displaced families. Neha Wadeka reports from the town of Kado. Hawa Ahmed Mahmoud's family traveled for five days to reach this camp for displaced people in the Puntland region of Somalia. We left half of our possessions behind. We didn't have a car to transport us, so we made three trips by camel. Two million Somalis are facing starvation from this drought, the UN says, and more than 430,000 have already fled their homes. With the threat of famine looming, they are seeking refuge in urban areas and informal displacement camps. It is the situation that has forced us, and we came here for water. We were afraid of dying of hunger and thirst. But experts say that decades of civil war and instability have crippled Somalia's infrastructure, which can't handle the influx of hungry people. Abdi Said Osman is the mayor of Cardo, a town near several informal displacement camps. There are a lot of problems here. These people coming here don't have jobs. They've become a burden to the town. Businesses in Cardo have been extending credit to people living in the camps. The mayor says the town has also received some private donations, but needs more help from the Somali government and international NGOs to help meet the overwhelming need. Mahmoud and her husband, Abdi Noor Abdullah Hassan, lost nearly all of their animals in the drought. Now, Hassan picks up whatever work he can to feed his growing family. His wife is nine months pregnant. I do manual labor. I use my strength to make money. We have nothing else. Mahmoud and his son can't afford this town school fees, and there's no free school in this camp. They worry most about their four-year-old son, Mohammed, who suffers from convulsions. Before the drought, I was going to sell some animals, get money, and take him to a neurologist in the capital. Whatever I wanted to use for his treatment, we've lost. The drought has changed Mahmoud's priorities. Right now, she says... The most important thing is keeping her family alive. Neha Wadaker for VOA News, Cardo, Somalia.